Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you some checkbox trickery using CSS. This video was inspired by a blog post by Will Boyd, which is available at the URL shown here. HTML checkboxes can be styled in some really creative ways using just CSS. No JavaScript is required for any of the tricks shown in this video. First, let's examine a basic HTML checkbox input. This is a simple checkbox with a label. The value of the label matches the ID on the input element, so that clicking on the label will toggle the checkbox. This is important because we're going to use CSS to hide the checkbox. Notice that I'm hiding the input by positioning it off screen rather than by using display none. The reason is that using display none would cause it to be ignored by screen readers and keyboard tabbing. With the input hidden, we can now proceed to do some really interesting things with the styling of the label. With this selector, we're using the checked pseudo class along with the adjacent sibling selector to say that we want to apply styles to the label that comes right after a checked checkbox. In this first demo, at the URL shown here, we use this basic formula to turn regular checkboxes into something more impressive. These are all still checkboxes and if you wrap them in a form element, they will behave exactly like standard HTML checkboxes and submit just like you'd expect. You can also use CSS to dynamically hide and show parts of a form based on whether checkboxes are checked, as shown in this demo. Notice that the checked pseudo class works on radio buttons the same as checkboxes. Here's the HTML for the how did you hear about us radio buttons. And here, we show and hide the element after the other button when it's checked. We can also use the same technique to create a folder tree widget as shown in this demo here. Here's the HTML for a single folder. The label element is the folder, and the two A elements are the files within it. Using font awesome icons, we can indicate open and closed states. We use the tilde selector, which selects siblings to display the files within the folder when the input is checked. Finally, we use a form reset input to uncheck the form fields and collapse the tree view. CSS can also be used to split items into separate lists depending on whether or not they're checked. This is useful for a to-do list as shown in the demo at this URL. The final demo shows how to use checkboxes and CSS to do group filtering. The demo shown here highlights a cross-section of data that matches the selected criterion. You can view, examine, and play around with the code for each of these demos at the code pen URLs linked from Will's article. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Will for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here.